So the problem reads, a sample of 200 students shows that 10 came late to class. Find a 90% confidence interval to determine the population percent of students who come late to class. Answer is a percent with one place to the right of the decimal. Now, sometimes this one throws people off because they don't see a percentage in the problem. I mean, yes, we see the 90% confidence interval, but we're always going to see something along those lines. So the key to this one is it says to determine the population percent of students that come late. So now we know that our confidence interval is for a proportion. So as I read the sample, I'm sorry, as I read the question, the first thing I saw was a sample of 200 students. So I know that n equals 200. Next I saw that 10 came late to class. So this is x. x equals 10. Not p hat equals 10 because remember p hat is a percent of our population or in this case a sample percent. And we have a 90% confidence interval which I've memorized to be 1.645 for the critical value. So we need to find p hat, which is x divided by n, and so 10 divided by 200 is 0 0.05. q hat is 1 minus p hat. So 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0.95. And now we're ready to go ahead and solve the problem. So I plug the numbers into the lower half of the proportion confidence interval, saying that that's population parameter p is sandwiched somewhere in there and rewrite the entire formula again where this time of course I've used a plus sign after my p hat. Plug everything at once into my calculator and get some decimal values. The directions ask to answer as a percent with one place to the right of the decimal. So I'm going to turn those decimal values into percents, 2.5% to 7.5%. Before I commit my answer to an answer box, I want to double check that my p hat of 5% or 0.05 is in my range, and 5% is in between 2.5% to 7.5%. So I'm ready to answer the question remembering that the smaller number should always come first and the larger number should come second.